Hey guys, it's Kevin. Welcome to another Cinema 4D tutorial. Today we're going to be doing a hypodermic needle and all this is going to be done in Cinema 4D and I'm going to show you how to model it and uh, make this thing look as realistic as possible. So of course, if you want to uh, use some reference images, uh, that would be great. You know, just go to Google and, and search what a hypodermic needle looks like. And uh, But you can make it however you want to. You know, you can design it, model it uh, according to your creative um, ideas that you have, but I want to show you how to create a pretty simple one here today. So the first thing we're going to do in Cinema 4D is get out our uh, cylinder. We're going to just get a, a basic cylinder here. Let's go ahead and change our display to lines. Uh, that way we can see all of these um, these subdivisions here. So what we want to do first is uh, let's go ahead and add some subdivisions uh, to this um, cylinder here. So let's go ahead and change our rotations to 32 and our height I think we can do at about 16. Um, we might change these later, that's okay, but that's a good starting point. Um, and then for our caps, let's go ahead and add a cap on here as well and uh, we'll just do uh, three and three centimeters should be fine. Okay, so we have this right here. We have our uh, cylinder to start off. And uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna go ahead and make this editable. And uh, let's hit C on our keyboard. Now it's an edi editable uh, cylinder. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and start from the bottom and work our way up. So I'm going to uh, just go ahead and look at the bottom of this cylinder right here. And uh, we see these um, segments right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get my um, live selection here. Make sure you're on polygons. And let's just select all of these right here, just like that. And uh, so now that we have those selected, actually, I want to select these um, this cap as well. So let's do U on your keyboard, U, L. And then let's hold our shift key down and make sure we get these as well. Okay, so now we have uh, these three uh, loops here and we have this bottom section and we can go ahead and start bringing it down. So I'm going to hold uh, control down on my keyboard and I'm going to shift it down like this just a little bit. And then I'm going to hit the T on my keyboard to transform it and let's make it smaller, kind of like that. So we're making kind of like a little cone shape right here, something like that. And then let's hit our E on the keyboard and let's go ahead and hold your control key down and let's slide this down again. So we're just making a little, um, kind of like just a little cone right here that's going into um, the, the needle part. This is gonna be the sharpest part of it. And uh, now what we want to do, let's go ahead and uh, drag it down even further like this. And now what we can do is make it even smaller. So let's just go ahead and drag that in with your keyboard I'm sorry, with your mouse, uh, but not using your keyboard here. Make it really small like this. Okay, so about like that. And then finally, let's change your E again and let's control and then let's go all the way down. This is gonna be the, sh the, the metal part of the needle right here. So something kind of like that. Then we'll zoom in and we'll make this part right here nice and small. Here, let's go ahead and go down one more segment like that and then hit T and make it nice and small, almost to a point like that. And there is our needle. Okay, so let's zoom out, see what we got. So there's the uh, there's the metal part of the needle. This is the part that actually goes in. Now let's go back up and let's start working on the top of this uh, hypodermic needle where it's gonna have like all of the uh, actual medicine in it. All right, so let's go up here to the top Let's get a rectangular selection tool. I'm just going to select uh, this top part right here and uh, let's make sure we get this loop as well. Okay, so now we have that entire top cap is selected just like that. Okay, now what we want to do, let's make this a little bit bigger. So just holding my T, oh, let's make sure we're getting we got too much of a selection here. So anytime you get too much of a selection, just hit UL on your keyboard, hold control down and click that loop and it'll go away. So shift will add, control will take away. All right, so now let's do this. Let's go ahead and bring this back up. T, let's make it nice and wide like this. Nice and wide. This is gonna be the part where all the medicine is in. Like 
that. And then let's drag it up. Actually, let's control drag it up and then let's drag it up even more like that. Okay, so something about right in here, I think will be fine. Okay. All right, good deal. All right, so that's that's where the medicine's gonna go in, this little cylinder part right here, and this is where the needle's coming out. Um, but right now we have our cylinder here. And then when we get up to here, this is where the plastic part juts out. That's where your, your fingers go on it. So what we need to do here is hold T on your keyboard and we need to drag it out. Um, hold control on your keyboard to drag it out like this. So this is the part where your, your fingers will slide in and uh, you'll you know be able to administer the shot. So something kind of like that. And then let's just make it a little bit bigger. So do E on your keyboard to move it, control, and then slide it up like that. So about about like that. A lot of this is just, you know, eyeballing it. Okay, I think our, our handles are just a little bit too wide. So let's do it like that. Something kind of like that. Okay, so I think that's, that's about right. Now let's get up to the top here. I'm going to go ahead and just select everything right up here. So this little selection here, I'm not gonna get that bevel or that cap right there. And then I'm gonna hit I on my keyboard, I, and then I'm gonna drag in, actually just drag in like that, and then drag in like this. Now we have a little circle uh, cap coming up. So hold e on, your, uh, e on your keyboard and then control to shift it up like that. There we go. So we're kind of you know making it more of a circle shape here. And that's gonna follow this tube going down here because you know, you're gonna push um, you're going to have to push the um, the medicine down. So this is what's going to be doing that part. Um, and then here at the top of the cap, you know, you can decide what you want to do here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold control and then slide it up to make a new um, a new break right there. And then I'm going to do UL on my keyboard. And then now I can select this top part and I'm going to bring it out. Control, bring it out just like that, just a little bit. And we can make it just a little bit taller if we want to, and that's up to you. You know how much, how much extra um, you want to add to this. Just little details, but something like that looks good. Let's zoom out and see how we look. And there is our hypodermic needle, just like that. All right, and so you can go down and you can add other little um, effects in here. So like, for example, um, if you wanted to add like a little, I know some of them have like a little ball that kind of pops out like right here. Um, so if you wanted to do that, so you do K and then L on your keyboard, let's do a cut right here and right here is fine. And then we want to select both of these loops. So U, L and then hold shift. And now you can do that. And then just make that like a little, a little ball hold control on your keyboard, make a little ball that kind of pokes out right there. You know, that's if that's something you want to do, you know, you can do that. Um, you can add all kinds of little details in here, but you know, it's, it's up to you what's uh, exactly what you want to do with the shape. All right, so something kind of like that looks good. I think that's a good hypodermic needle right there. So let's go ahead and I want to do one more little fine tune here. I want to select, I'm going to get my rectangular thing here, select all of those, but I just want these right here. So let's go ahead and UL, control, 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 and shift. No, let's just do that. Okay, I don't know if that's necessarily what I wanted to do here, but you could add like a little bevel right here if you wanted to, just to make it look like, you know, the the needle is coming out of this little section here. You know, that's up to you, but this is really all we're doing is we're just we're just dragging this cylinder up and down and uh, we're bringing things out, we're bringing things in. 
and uh, you can you can make it to whatever shape you want to. But this is all just a basic cylinder here, and you can determine um, exactly what shape you want it to be at. Um, you don't have to copy something that's already been done. Let's go ahead and do this one right here as well. UL, click that, and then what we'll do is we'll make this one a little bit larger as well. Okay. Here we go. Totally up to you what you want to do, but something kind of like that I think looks pretty good. I think that looks pretty good. Last thing, I may want to make that needle just a little bit skinnier. So let's drag into this, this needle here. UL, UL. Select that one. And then let's make sure we select that as well. And then we'll just make it a little bit smaller. Just a little bit smaller like that. There we go. All right. That is a really small needle there. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, let me just fast forward a little bit here. I want to show you kind of uh, my finished version of it. So I just went back and tweaked a few of the little things, added a few little rings and, and things like that, just to, just to make it a little bit more interesting. Um, and I'm using Redshift to do my um, texturing here. And, uh, you know, you can either use Redshift or, you know, Cinema 4D, whatever you want to use, or Octane. Um, but this is this is kind of my approach to it here. So I've got um, I did a cut right here, right in the uh, the middle here of the, the glass, and this is where we're going to put the medicine at, right in there. And so then I just started adding some redshift uh, textures and uh, put some lights and stuff like that. And so you see down here at the bottom, this is the the render view. Uh, but let me go ahead and show you the textures that I added to it. So there are the textures I added to it. Let's see if we can zoom in here. It's hard to see like in the actual view, like the textures, you have to look at the Redshift view, but you can see like I put, let me just go ahead and show you there. Uh, you can see like I, I put the, uh, some metal textures like right here where the, uh, you know, the top part is and the, the needle and all that stuff. And then I added just a little bit of blue uh, to the actual medicine part. And so you can see I added that blue color. It's just blue glass, essentially all I did. I didn't try to add any liquid or anything like that, but then added um, some metal down here. And then of course, metal on the actual needle there. And that's how I uh, decided to uh, texture it. You know, you might decide to do something completely different, but that's how I did that. Then I just added a, a Redshift camera here and uh, I played the um, I, I played the uh, animation so it would fall down to the ground and then I would just find the perfect little angle uh, to take the picture at. And so something kind of like that. And you can see uh, what it looks like there. So very realistic looking, um, you know, maybe not be exactly what it looks like at the doctor's office, but a uh, really fun project to make. And let me go in and show you that final rendered view. And uh, this is what I was able to create. So about 10 minutes of modeling, another 10, 15 minutes of texturing, and you're able to end up with something like this. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed this little tutorial and uh, you're able to go out on Cinema 4D and create your own little images here. And I uh, can't wait to see what you guys can create. But thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you again at the next tutorial. Thanks guys.